Welcome or welcome back and I need help on C square. In this example, we have a polynomial function right here in the standard form and we need to answer to some question. The first question is uh, use the leading coefficient test to determine the graph and behavior. This is the leading coefficient test you see down here. We need to see the degree of this polynomial, that is 3, and the leading coefficient, that is 1. Degree 3 means odd. And the leading coefficient on that means positive. So odd and positive is this situation. Odd and positive is giving us down up. So the graph is coming from down here and it's going to go up. That is what it meant. Down here, up here. Okay. Now we can go to point B where you need to find the intercepts of this um, polynomial function. How we do that? We're going to set up this polynomial to 0. And we have 0 equals x cubed plus 4x squared minus x minus 4. And for finding that, this intercept and for solving this uh, polynomial equation, we need to factor out by grouping. And we're going to group the first two terms, x cubed and 4x squared, which have a GCF of x squared, and then x plus 4 here and for the last part we're going to factor out a negative because we want to get that x plus 4 we notice in the first factoring and then we notice we have this x plus 4 as a common factor and then we notice x squared left and minus 1 and this is a good factor formula let's factor uh, completely what do i mean by that Let's take a look. x plus 4 is a prime polynomial. Nothing else to be done. But x squared minus 1 can be factored out as x minus 1, x plus 1. Okay. And now we can use the zero product property because you have a, a multiplication of factors equals to 0. And we're going to make the first factor x plus 4 equals 0. And that will give us a 0 of negative 4 and an intercept of negative 4 and 0. The second factor x minus 1 equals 0. That is x minus 1 equals to 0. Sorry. Okay. x minus 1 equals to 0 is going to give us what? x equals 1 as a 0 or the intercept is 1 and 0. And similarly we have a last factor x plus 1 equals 0 which is going to give us what? x equals negative 1 or negative 1 and 0, right? So we have now the 3x intercept of this guy. And now we can go to the last part of this point B. We need to see if it crosses or touches and turns around at each x intercept. And for that reason, we're going to look here. This is a power of 1, power of 1, invisible one, yeah. So all these powers are odd, so means crosses. So I'm going to put that here, crosses, crosses, is not any touching and turns around at every single point, the graph is going to cross the x-axis. And now we can go to part C and D, on part C we are as the y-intercept, for that reason we're going to make x equal 0, and in this case f of 0 is very simple. Why? This is 0, this is 0, this is 0. We end up with negative 4. The x, the, I'm sorry, the y-intercept is 0 and negative 4. This is another way to see it as an order pair. And now you can go to part D. When looking for symmetry, is this, do we have a, a y-axis symmetry, origin symmetry, or neither? For that reason, it's very important to look if the function is odd, or even. If it's odd, we have origin. If it's even, we have y-axis. And look at here. This is odd. This is even. You add an even and an odd, you get what we call neither. So, in fact, we have no symmetry. Okay. So, we can now use this symmetry for making our life easier, in this case, for graphing, which I'm going to do it right here. So, because this is the big picture of this problem, right? Everything we did here is to help us to graph in case we need it. And if you remember, the zero were what? Uh, 
positive one, negative one, and four, uh, and uh, negative four, right? Let's 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 go back to see it, right? Uh, negative four, one, and negative one, right? Let's be sure. So we're gonna have negative four right here, negative one right here, and one right here. And if you remember, it was the behavior was. Uh, left down right up so I'm gonna start from here I'm gonna cross the x-axis gonna come here cross it and eventually here I need to go and meet somewhere the y-axis where if you remember this one was 0 and 4 negative 4 and then come back here this is a pretty decent sketch this is the actual graph okay but by hand this is a very good sketch okay you see this so if you need to graph uh, plot these three points the three x intercept in this case this y intercept then you should be fine and uh, using the uh, end behavior you can graph your problem if you enjoyed this video clip don't forget to click the like button and come back and see square for more help thank you